In a study conducted by Professor Stephen Manley, Chris Lowe, and graduate students, radioactive kelp was found off the coast of California after the devastating earthquake in Japan last year. Professor Manley said kelp was an ideal testing subject for this study. It would be a good species to use because it forms these large canopies in the uh, subtidal regions, and these canopies are right at the air-water interface. Tatiana Maldonado expressed her concern. Well, I'd be worried that it would kind of pass on to other animals and affect us, and I don't know what that would do to our bodies because we're not supposed to be radioactive. The radioactive material found in the kelp decays quickly, so it only lasted a few weeks but other radioactive material may still be present in the ecosystems. But in that radioactive plume that came over in the atmosphere a week or so after the release, it also contained other radioisotopes, uh, the most notable which are radioisotopes of cesium. More studies will be performed on the kelp samples in order to determine what other radioactive material may have a long-term presence. From Beach News, this is Noelle Leon.